Live from Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 6. Thank you for trusting us here on Fox 4 News at 6. I'm Shari Armstrong. And I am Chris Earle. It had to have been terrifying for them. A terrifying moment caught on camera in Lehigh Acres. Southwest Florida Crime Stopper says an elderly couple was shot while trying to just drive through an intersection. That intersection, the Lee County Sheriff's Office says, is where a car meetup was actually taking place. And here's where this happened in Lehigh. Homestead Road and Milwaukee Boulevard. Early Sunday morning, neighbors in the area telling Fox 4 this intersection has been a problem for months. And that is where we find Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp. Caitlin, just within the past hour, you heard from the grandson of that couple. What did he tell you about how his grandparents are doing and what are the latest updates in this case? Yes, I just talked to him and we do have some good news. He tells me that his grandmother is home recovering. However, his grandfather is still in the hospital tonight in ICU recovering from his injuries. But at this point, there's no shooter in custody right now. Neighbors that I talked to in the area say that they are concerned about the crime and they say simply they want more deputies in Lehigh Acres. This is the moment before an elderly couple got shot in Lehigh Acres Sunday morning. Southwest Florida Crime Stopper says it was not provoked and they were heading to Key West with their boat. Exactly, yeah. Anyone. yeah. Lori Smith and Brian Radden, who moved to Lehigh back in September, lives about four miles away from where it happened. But could still feel the effects of this brazen crime. It was so sudden, you know, it's just out of nowhere, it, those poor people. Law enforcement officials say a group of people here at Homestead in Milwaukee surrounded the couple's truck. A group, another neighbor who didn't want to go on camera but lives around the corner. I was woken up at, uh, by the sound of loud cars. There was no fewer than 200 cars. Says he saw an hour before the shooting. I have called in three or four previous times to let them know that these cars are out there. It really does make you feel unsafe. An uneasy feeling. We're taking back our city. Smith wants to see go away. If I have to step in and, and be an advocate, I will. She emailed the sheriff's office asking for more boots on the ground. We just need more police coverage, bottom line, and people need to be, you know, accountable for what the things that they do. Accountability for whoever did this. Scary, you know, um, I feel like we need, we just need more police. Again, the shooter is not in custody, but just a few moments ago, the Lehigh County Sheriff's Office put out a message on Facebook saying they will be having a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock with an update on the shooting. We'll also be speaking to the grandson of this couple tonight, and that's a story you'll see on Fox 4 at 10. But if you do know anything about this shooting, if you are here, have any video, just saw anything, you're call, asked to call Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS. Reporting live in Lehigh Acres, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.